Good morning, everyone. God bless you, and I, and I pray that you had an excellent day yesterday. Um, excellent day in the Lord. Uh, wonderful day with your family. Productive day at your job. We talked about waiting early in our Quiet Time series, and I want to just go back to waiting a little bit, because waiting is such a big part of our life. Uh, something is coming, generally, right, when we're waiting. Something is coming, we just don't know when. And because of that uncertainty, waiting is hard. For example, when a man gets on his knees and looks at his uh, uh, girlfriend or fiancé and says, Will you marry me? That period bet between that sentence, Will you marry me? and her answer, that short period or however long it may be, is deafening, isn't it? Of course, every man wants to hear uh, their, uh, uh, his lover say, Yes, I will marry you immediately. But she could say no. But I think the worst or maybe the hardest answer is will you wait a week? Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. That will give that man a sleepless night for the next seven days. Because waiting is hard. You don't know what she's going to say. And, and that's why it's hard. Once you, the waiting says you're out of control. Something is coming, but you're not in control of that. And that's tough. And maybe that's why in the Bible we are shown so many characters who had to wait. And they had to place their faith in the promises of God and trust in what God has shared and promised with them. I share with you Joseph, but there's another character named David, King David, uh, in the Bible. When David was about 15 years old, uh, he was anointed to be the next king of Israel. You can find it in 1 Samuel chapter 16. But he won't sit on that throne until age 30. David had to wait 15 years. That's a long time to wait, considering he was only 15 when he was anointed. What was God doing? See, during those 15 years, David managed to learn how to knock giants off his life. Learn how to get over hurdles of life. He learned how to influence people and manage people and lead people. In fact, by the time he sits on the throne, the entire nation of Israel, their hearts were already under the authority of David. During that 15 years, he learned how to be the person after God's heart. You know those verses that we're so familiar with, as a deer pens for water, so my soul longeth after you. That's David. One thing I desire is to be in, the, in your temple, to be in the presence of God. That's David. David learned how to be in the presence of God during that time. He learned to trust God and His promises. Friends, you and I are waiting. Maybe you're waiting for COVID-19 shelter in home to end. Maybe you're waiting for a job. Maybe you're single and you're waiting for your next man or next woman. Don't waste that precious waiting time. What is God trying to develop in you? What is God trying to do in you? Ask God. Seek God. Walk with God. As the scripture tells us, He will lead your path. Do not lean on your understanding, Proverbs says. Why? Because lean on God, trust Him. He will lead your path. I want to read you a scripture that perhaps you are familiar with comes from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And then he says to call upon me, pray to me, I will listen to you. What many people forget is the verse before this, in verse 10 says, Israel, wait 70 years. When that 70 year period is done, I'm going to do these things for you. They have to wait. And you and I will have to wait. But meanwhile, don't waste that. Seek God. Ask for His guidance. See what He's doing in your life. What is He trying to teach you? And pursue that. Once that waiting period is done, just like George Zimmerman commercial for Men's Warehouse, you're going to look good. I guarantee it. In fact, I don't guarantee it. God guarantees it. Because He has a hope and a future future for good for you and for me, for we are His children. 
trust in that promise and pursue God during this time. And you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on Monday. And I'll see you actually um, before that uh, at worship together uh, on Sunday. And some of you who are not part of our church, may you have a wonderful time in the Lord. Who knows? Someday you'll join us. Or maybe you can join us on YouTube as well. It's uh, Disciple Church Milpitas. And you can join our worship 9.30 on Sunday. Let me pray and then let's close our time this morning. Father, we thank you for this morning and this week. May the name of the Lord be lifted up in our hearts lives and may we learn to grow and be the person that you've called us to be during this waiting period Lord train us guide us and God may the peace of God rest over all those who are journeying in this quiet time journey together Father we lift up our medical workers in our church and those beyond our church that you will place an extra layer of your protection upon them as they serve those who are sick we thank you, we praise you, and we love you. May the name of Jesus be lifted up in our lives always. In Jesus' name.